Hi everyone. So today we're going to be looking at the SV Bunny SV215 3 to 8 millimeter zoom eyepiece. Now this is a fairly new eyepiece and I just recently purchased it and then I had the time to test it out both during the daytime and the nighttime. So um, since I didn't see a lot of good reviews of it on YouTube, I decided I would make one myself. So as the name implies, this eyepiece has a focal range from 3 millimeters to 8 millimeters. So it is mostly for high magnification viewing, primarily looking at uh, very small deep sky objects, the moon, the sun with a solar filter, uh, double stars, and of course the planets which generally require a high magnification. And the field of view of this eyepiece is a constant 56 millimeters throughout the range, no matter what magnification you are using. And the eye relief is a constant 10 millimeters at all of those focal lengths. So it wouldn't be ideal for somebody who observes while wearing glasses, but for someone like me without glasses, uh, the eye relief is perfectly fine. Now, looking at the physical attributes of this eyepiece, it comes with the top and bottom cap that work very well and I did not find them getting too hard or inconvenient in cold weather. So that's a plus. Very easy to take off. Now the markings uh, over here tell you what focal length you are at and uh, it does click nicely into place as soon as you get to the particular focal uh, length. So 8 millimeters, 7, 6, 5, 4, three and that's the most so you can see as you zoom in the top portion extends upwards and then so that allows you to to move through the entire focal range without having to look and see where you are in the focal range you can kind of uh, just guess by the sound when you have reached the next step in that uh, uh, three to eight millimeter focal length range the overall build quality on this is excellent and I had absolutely no complaints. The barrel is uh, solid metal and there is a rubberized grip at the top over here which works very well. And the eye cup up top is pretty soft and I did not find it uncomfortable in any way which is great. The, uh, the top eye lens over here is large enough to be able to look through comfortably uh, unlike some of those basic plossels which uh, have a very very tiny eye lens and can be difficult to uh, properly position your eye for a comfortable view. Now my first test of this eyepiece was in my Coronado PSD uh, which is a uh, 400 millimeter focal length and 40 millimeter aperture solar telescope and this is specialized just for solar viewing so it has a built-in solar filter and using this eyepiece at the 8 millimeter setting uh, gave me a magnification of 50x while using it at the shortest focal length of 3 millimeters gave me 133 times on my 40 millimeter solar refractor. Now the views uh, looked great uh, overall they were bright and sharp uh, starting from 8 millimeter which is 50 times magnification all the way down to 5 millimeters which is 80 times magnification and at the 4 millimeter setting the view did get a little bit darker because the magnification is a little bit too high for my solar telescope since it only has a 40 millimeter aperture but the view still looked great and very sharp and then at the 3 millimeter setting the view did get a little bit darker for my taste again not a fault of the eyepiece um, just because of the small uh, aperture of my solar telescope but when I used my hands to to kind of block the light like this uh, around the eyepiece it was not an issue at all the view brightened right up. Now I compared this eyepiece to a couple of other eyepieces uh, such as my uh, Orion Stratus 3.5 millimeter eyepiece which was one of my main eyepieces for high magnification observing and also for my William Optics XWA 5mm 110 degree eyepiece which was actually my primary eyepiece for solar observing with the Coronado PST. Now for the Orion Stratus eyepiece I noticed that the Orion Stratus did have a wider 
overall field of view uh, than the than the SV Bunny eyepiece and better eye relief. So it worked a bit better for anybody who wears glasses. But I did find that the SV Bunny uh, was uh, sharper overall than the Orion Stratus. Also, the Orion Stratus is the same eyepiece as the Bardair Hyperion, just rebranded by Orion in this case. Now, compared to my uh, larger eyepiece, the uh, five millimeter William Optics 110 degree, which in reality is actually a 4.7 millimeter eyepiece, not five millimeters. The um, William Optics did have a brighter view due to the lower magnification, but again, that's that's not a fault of the eyepiece. Um, and the William Optics did have slightly better eye relief as well. Uh, it felt like it was almost uh, a good 50% at least longer than the SV Bunny 215. Uh, so it would be better for people wearing glasses. Uh, and of course the uh, William Optics had a much, much wider field of view at 110 degrees compared to 56 degrees for the SV Bunny 215. But I didn't find the field of view of the SV Bunny uh, 215 uh, that restrictive. It was still larger than what we are used to with the standard plot and considering the the wide zoom range over here uh, yeah I had no issues with the field of view it did seem better than for example the Celestron 8 to 24 millimeter zoom which I had looked at previously so no issue there so overall for solar observing the IPs worked very very well uh, the convenience of being able to go from eight millimeters down to three millimeters in one eyepiece without having to constantly switch eyepieces was was excellent. Uh, but the only bad thing I can say about this eyepiece is that the eye relief is a bit short. So if you wear glasses, um, this might not be the eyepiece for you, especially if you have, you know, if you've used other premium eyepieces with a longer eye relief. If you're coming from, from regular plossal eyepieces or the basic eyepieces that come with your telescope then uh, if those work fine for you the eye relief shouldn't be a big issue in this uh, even if you do wear glasses but again I mostly recommend this for people who are not wearing glasses now for nighttime use I tested this eyepiece by looking at the planet Jupiter and its moons uh, on the uh, on the moon as well on our moon and also on some deep sky objects such as the ring nebula and the Orion Nebula. Now looking around at the stars uh, across the field of view I didn't find any objectionable aberrations so those are things such as coma or uh, chromatic aberration. This is likely helped by the slightly smaller field of view as well uh, because such aberrations are much easier to see in very wide field eyepieces uh, such as my William Optics 110 degree XWA eyepiece. Um, now the seeing wasn't quite as good as I would like to be able to judge what the stars would look like at very high magnifications such as the three millimeter setting uh, but the seeing was was decent uh, and overall I didn't see any any objectionable uh, issues with the optical quality of this eyepiece especially considering it is a zoom eyepiece which generally tend to perform worse than the prime eyepieces from uh, for some of the cheaper ones um, now, uh, I do hope to get my hands on the Teleview 3 to 6 millimeter eyepiece at some point. Uh, that is the gold standard of zoom eyepieces and it's very well known, but it costs many times more than the SV Bunny 215. So I do, of course, expect the Teleview to perform better, but whether it's worth three times the price, uh, that's, that's for you to say. But personally, I'm very happy with the uh, performance of this relatively budget eyepiece. Now, I was testing this eyepiece in fairly cold temperatures. The temperature outside was minus four degrees Celsius. And one of the things I often notice with, uh, with any kind of equipment is that everything gets so cold and brittle and hard to turn in the cold. But at minus four degrees, I didn't notice any issue uh, switching the zoom settings between the different focal lengths. So that is good to see. I do hope to test it in colder weather such as minus 20 degrees Celsius and which is about my limit generally for observing or imaging. We'll see how it performs at at such cold temperatures but so far it's it's held up pretty well in the cold Canadian winter.
so overall i found this eyepiece offered very very good build quality and very good optical quality especially considering the fairly low price point on this one so for anyone looking for an all-in-one zoom eyepiece especially for things like you know looking at the planets or looking at the moon or the sun I would highly recommend it and this is an eyepiece that I actually plan to keep in my toolkit despite having tons of other eyepieces. Uh, it's also very very light so it might also be a good eyepiece for, for using with a bino viewer for example. I did try using some of my heavier eyepieces like the Orion Stratus in my bino viewer and it was way too heavy for my Dobsonian and the front of it just tilted downwards whereas a fairly light and small eyepiece like this. Uh, would not would not create that issue so um, I hope you found this review helpful if you have any other questions or if you want me to test anything else about this eyepiece uh, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you and also if you do decide to buy this eyepiece consider using the uh, Amazon link in the description of this video below that'll help out my channel at absolutely no cost to you and again this review is not sponsored by anybody I bought this eyepiece piece with my own money and I decided to uh, test it out just in case uh, my review helps out anybody else so again thanks for watching and clear skies